Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, as you guys know, right now it's night time. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I have never felt this um, energetic in my life. I mean, I just feel a lot of motivation and I just feel so disciplined. It's, it's actually unbelievable. Um, but today I want to talk about something that's very important and I just want to, you know, give a quick important message because I feel like, you know, a lot of people are kind of missing the point. So I just want to give a quick message. So I just want you guys to know that the reason why I make these mental health videos in the first place is to help people because I have some information that I wish that some people told me sooner. And yeah, I mean, honestly, it's it's not easy at all because honestly, my life has not been easy, right? But I have a few advices to give throughout this video. So I want you guys to listen, all right? So in this video, I'm gonna be explaining you how to basically master emotional intelligence and if you want to get a more in deeper depth um explanation of that then i'll put a video down in the description below i really advise you guys to watch it because this guy is absolutely incredible he makes amazing videos and honestly he's the reason why i'm kind of inspired to do these types of videos so honestly like shout out to him but the main point that i want to make okay is people are always so focused on just being defensive and what i mean by that is people are so focused on let's say like you're friends with someone right and you guys get into like an argument or something and you guys are just fighting each other and stuff like that and usually most of the time it's always like when it's an argument it's like it feels like you guys are fighting each other but it shouldn't be like that it should be not you guys fighting each other but rather you guys f fighting together against the problem and um i'm sorry if i'm kind of stuttering but <laughs> um but yeah apart from that um yeah the main point that i want to say is that just make sure that whenever it comes to arguments whether it's with a partner or whether it's with a friend or something like that always try to find middle ground and if it's in the heat of the moment because sometimes i know it can get like that sometimes when you're like arguing with your friend right you guys are both mad you guys are both throwing emotions and stuff like that and it can get really hard right so at that point i would suggest this is this is what i would say right if i was like fighting or if i was arguing with my friend a lot and i was just like fully enraged i would just be like hold on i'm just gonna take a step back this is not worth it this is not worth my energy what i mean by this is not worth my energy is this is not worth think about it right every single decision and every single thing that you make i want you to truly think it through is me throwing these emotions towards my friend worth our friendship how much is that friendship worth to me and how much is that person worth to me right so think about it like this, when you're like in a relationship, right? When you're dating someone, the whole point of the relationship is to be together, right? Not to be against each other, right? So every single time when you guys have an argument, if you guys are calm, you guys can both navigate through the situation together and fix it. And I know it's not that easy because honestly, I'm not going to lie. You know, it's it has it, it really takes someone to be mature. Mature is like the very important part. You need to be self-aware, you need to be confident, and at the same time you need to know how your mind works. Now, I'm not gonna lie, right? Every single time when I overthink, I always tell my brain to stop. I always try to fight it's like it's like I'm fighting demons inside of my mind right now. Every single time when I overthink, every single time when my mind keeps telling me, lead owners, you should stop exercising, lead owners, you should go back to eating unhealthy again lead owners you should you know start doing all this stuff and i always tell my mind like no this is not true i am done letting my brain i'm done tolerating my brain basically so i always tell my brain just to stop whatever it takes i always just tell my brain inside it's like a mental battle and keep in mind all right i just want you to know if people this is also about um 
something else and i think i'm just gonna address that in the next video because i feel like that's very important but um the most important part is is to really just show compassion for those people because what i've seen going around a lot right is where if people are depressed or if they have anxiety right people just tell them oh they're lazy or that they they're selfish or that they they just you know they just don't care about themselves but that's not true because everyone has a different life story right so think about it like this right not every person that does the same treatment can get treated right so the fact that i see so many people um saying stuff like, hey, if you go to the gym, it will fix your OCD, or hey, if you go to the gym, it will fix your social anxiety, or hey, if you do this, then you won't have depression anymore. Now, it's okay to give advice, but the worst thing you can do is make promises, because you see what happens is when you make promises against that person, they try it, and it doesn't work, it ends up hurting them, right? And that really hurts, and, I, and I've and i dealt with that. I have dealt with that. I've seen it firsthand happen to my friends. So. What I would suggest doing is, I would suggest talking to them, understanding their story, understanding their situation, compare it with your experience, see how you handle things, if it's similar, and just tell them, try it. Don't say like, hey, if you do this, then you won't, you won't be depressed anymore. This is why you're depressed. Don't say that, because you genuinely do not know that person, all right? So my best advice I can give is stop making crazy promises, all right? Don't get me wrong, going to the gym is beneficial. That's a good thing to do. It's amazing to go to the gym. It's amazing to exercise. It's amazing to take care of yourself. But don't say, if you do this, then this will change. Because if it doesn't, then it will just make the person feel a lot worse. Now, that's really all I have to say for today. I don't really have anything much. Um, also, uh, today I, um, today I went outside, right, and I played some basketball, uh, I, pl I haven't played for like two years, if I'm being honest, so, if you guys want me to, uh, release the footage of me playing basketball tomorrow, then go ahead, you know what, why don't we just, why don't we just, you know what, why don't we just try to hit 20 likes on this video, if we can hit 20 likes on this video, I'll release the footage, because honestly, I mean, even if we don't, I'll still release it, because, Realistically, I'm not doing this for the praise or for the likes anyway, but I mean, hey, if you guys really like these type of videos and you guys really want to hit that goal, then go for it all by means. Um, but yeah, I just want you, I just want to remind you guys, right, uh, to take care of yourselves, love yourselves, be gentle, uh, be reasonable with yourself, right? And really just think, uh, like, think uh, some things through, you know? And just make sure that when you're being gentle with yourself, make sure you're also being honest with yourself. And when you're being honest with yourself, make sure you're not hurting your own feelings, okay? You need to find some type of balance because balance is very important in life, okay? It's like, think about it like this. If you're being too gentle with yourself, then eventually you're just gonna be delusional and you're just not gonna improve because you're always like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna do this because you know, I need to be more gentle to myself. You know, I need to like, you need to find balance. And then if you're too honest with yourself, you're gonna start beating yourself down like crazy. You're gonna be like, oh wow, dude, I, I suck. I can't do anything. Oh, this is terrible. Why am I doing it like this? I'm so bad. Don't say that because that hurts you as well. You need to be confident. You need to believe in yourself. You need to be self-aware. And at most, you need to have confidence. And I know that's not easier said than done because I, I am a person that really don't have I'm a person that doesn't really have much confidence anyway. But, you know, like I said, um, I'm trying my best. And by making these videos, I'm also trying to basically, you know, just help you guys in general and really just, you know, help you guys. And I really enjoy doing this. So if you guys want more videos like this, let me know. But apart from that, I'll see you guys later. Peace out and good night.